Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, I guarantee you this is the video that will change this entire nation from this point forward. And how so, you might say. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a notice of removal to Superior Court from the Juvenile Court. Juvenile Court is family court. They say juvenile court is not adult court. They're saying that there is a separation between adult and juvenile court. Juveniles do not get a jury of their peers. Now pay attention. Now it doesn't mean that they get a jury of ju juveniles because that's not what the Constitution said. Then say people of your own age group. That's not a peer. I know, I know, I know. People think a peer is something you walk on when you along the ocean. They don't understand what an actual peer is. When you do peer-to-peer -peer gaming, do you understand that you don't have to be in the same age group? It's just like-minded people, people who have the same understanding of things. So when it's saying peer-to-peer, -peer, it's just saying other people of the United States. Now, let me show you how everybody who has a juvenile that is in one of those detention centers, how their rights are being violated. Now, you'll hear people say juveniles don't have rights. That juveniles can't vote, and that's a lie. Constitution never said that. Constitution never spoke about adults. It created age limits for those who were elected to Congress and the president, but it never created an age limit for individuals to be able to have rights in the United States. So when you get a chance, go back and read the preamble. You see, that's what I did with this idiot. Because he was refusing to do, oh God, we were going back and forth because he was refusing to do the motion. So let me, let me make you guys understand something so that you get it. Because it's a very, 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 very important that you understand the preamble. We, the people of the United States, in order to form, see the people are forming a more perfect union. Not the courts, not Congress, not the president. The people are establishing justice and ensuring domestic tranquility. We live together in harmony, homie. To provide for the common defense of all of the people. We, the people. They didn't say we the adult people. They said we, the people. Pay attention. Let me make sure you understand that it includes minors. It includes juveniles. It includes children. It includes infants. It includes embryos. Hold on now. Watch it. Promote the general welfare, general, everybody's welfare is important. Everybody, including children. And secure the blessings of liberty, that's right, freedom for who? For ourselves and our posterity. Hold on, let's find out who this is. Let's find out who this is, because, man, they'd they be knocking on the door and I'd be like, hey, who is it? And they'd be like, we prosperity. Prosperity? No, not prosperity. Prosperity. Pay attention. Prosperity. Prosperity is a noun meaning future generations. Ooh, look at that. These people of the future could be your children, your great-grandchildren, and any people who are born after you. You see it included children, people. They did the Constitution to include children. It is only the courts who have come in with this book talking about children were not included. To ourselves and our posterity, do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. Now pay attention. I want you to pay attention because it's very important that you pay attention to these words. To secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our Prosterity. So they just wasn't establishing inalienability and protections for themselves, but they were doing it for their children as well. And every child in America is part of that posterity. Y'all need to pay attention. Now, you'll hear some idiots and some stupid judges say that the preamble is not part of the Constitution. Pay attention. We, the people of the United States, do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. Excuse me? What do you mean it's not part of the Constitution? Without the preamble, there is no Constitution. Because the people said they were ordaining it. Now, we have some people saying, well, you're not part of the people. 
Your mama not part of the people. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm part of that posterity. You better believe I'm part of that posterity. Supreme Court said it in Dredd versus Scott. Y'all know about Dredd versus Stanford. I'm sorry, Stanford versus Scott. Dredd, 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 Stanford versus or Stanford versus Dred Scott. Sorry. Stanford versus Dred Scott. Y'all remember that said people of color with one fifth of a man? And the Supreme Court came back and said, oh no, flip that junk back on his head. Then they overturned it. Okay. So let me do it again. I'm putting together a petition. I'll give you guys a copy of this. I'm just going to give you a copy of the petition only. I'm not going to give you a copy of the whole conversation because it's not necessary. Because I just gave you the whole conversation. This gives you the Sixth Amendment, the Fifth Amendment, talking about what the rights are. Now, he, of course, he's not going to do it the correct way. Now, hold on. I want you to understand. It's okay if your son or daughter says the 14th Amendment. Because the 14th Amendment identifies them as citizens. Because it says, anyone born, any person, that includes children, children are people too, any person born in the United States, naturalized or born, it says that they are citizens of the United States, and they have the same right to due process. Well, by giving them a judge-only trial, denies them the right to a trial by jury. Pay attention, and you cannot, because they have the right to equal protection of law. Now, if you all don't understand this, I can't help you. But I know there are some people out there who've been dealing with child support, who've been dealing with the police coming and just arresting their kids in the schools, arresting your child, questioning your child without you being present. See, your child has rights, but you are part of those people who are securing the blessings for your children. It's your job to protect your children, not the state's. The state doesn't have ownership of your child. Your child is not an object of the courts under its so-called general parenthesis, where they get to do sovereign parenthesis. The courts are not sovereign, people. Hold on. Let me make sure you guys understand who the sovereigns are. We, the people. So this group. Not person, this not this not a single person, there's a group. We the people are the sovereigns. Why? Because they created the constitution. And without them, there is no constitution. And without them, there is no ordination of the constitution, no establishment of the constitution. Which means the power rests with the people. The Supreme Court has been saying that, but you had some of these judges go out there and tell people about, oh, I see people are sovereign. And they allowed other individuals to believe that they were sovereign as an individual. You, ladies and gentlemen, you cannot be sovereign in the United States. But you can be part of the sovereignty, that which created the entity in the first place, known as the United States of America. You see, the people created the United States of America, not Congress. They keep talking about the founding fathers. The founding fathers were the people, everyone. Now, it says the framers intended to safeguard the rights a future generation, including juvenile, through the constitutional protections. The framers, the, con the con <laughs> Congress weren't the framers of the Constitution. The people were. That's why they had town halls. So you guys will have to change that. But they had town halls. They had meetings. They had discussions. They had votes on the local level for the amendments that they were introducing. But that's the part of history that they've changed. And if you believe in the Mandela effect, you guys will understand that they have purposely gone through white computers of certain information to, to try to make people think they didn't know what they were talking about. You guys never heard of Jiffy peanut butter? But you also know that there was never, according to the record, any Jiffy peanut butter. Now go ahead and do a search for the off-brand known as Jiffy peanut butter. Go ahead, the generic brand known as Jiffy peanut butter. Go ahead and do the generic searches, not the when you're looking for products that it's not the same name, go ahead and do the research for the specific name. See, what you guys don't understand, there's been a lot of comedy spoofs, television shows that played on words, played on names. And what you're not understanding is the reason why we believe certain things were a certain way at one time, Luke, I am your father, is because it's been repeated in movies over and over again. So we repeat the same thing, thinking that that's what it originally stated. You follow me? Okay.
the people who watched Star Wars originally, they know that he said, Luke, no, he said, no, I am your father. Okay? But we heard, Luke, I am your father, because it's been paradise or parody in so many other plays and shows. So, ladies and gentlemen, back to the hotel. If you have a child that's going through any legal anything, understand this information. Look, I have to go, but I promise you, those of you who need to get it, you're going to get this information. Got to go.